What's up, Uplanders? It's your boy Evan is smoking. Welcome to the Node Live. That's right. Each week right here in the Upland Metaverse, we talk that no talk. We give you that good talk, bad talk, some talk. I don't know talk, but we do give you that no talk. We take questions, we take answers, we spotlight certain no's. We do all kinds of things, but since we're here, well, let's get it started. Welcome to the Node Live. What is up, Uplanders? Man, what is up? It's that guy, man. It's all up in his smoke, man. I'm back, man. Guess what? It's another episode, people. It's another episode of the People's Show, man. Yes, it is, man. We're back. Number five, man. Oh, we're counting. Number five, man, of the People's Show, man. And guess what we came to do, man? We came to talk racing, man. Did somebody say racing? Did I hear moonshine, Tennessee whiskey? Somebody say that? Man, I don't know, man. I heard racing, man. NASCAR, broom, broom. What is it, man? Oh, man, do your history, man. NASCAR, man. Racing, man. Moonshine, man. Prohibition, man. American muscle power, man. We're talking upland racing man and we're fitting to talk it today yes we are the people said hey smoke man cars are coming man racing's everywhere man it's people building racing nodes i said what's a racing node buddy man they're building tracks man what do we need to do i said hey man hold on man hey man i don't know everything but this is the people show and oh up in the smoke, man. I know a few people. And I reached out to one of them, man, because guess what? He's going to tell us everything we need to know about a racing node, man. Yes, that's what he's going to do, man. He's going to teach us about a racing node, man. Big shouts out, man. TKN baby, man. Spark farmer or not, man. You did your thing, buddy. Hey, man, that's what we're looking at, man. I don't judge you, buddy. I'm not one of those guys, man. Big shouts out. Did your thing, man. Top of Lee Merck Park, man. You made a lot of people happy, buddy. Some people like you. Some people don't, man. But you did your thing. Big shouts out, man. No matter how somebody feels about you. Oh, heaven is smoke, man. Says, hey, man, you're a people. No matter what you do, you're a people. I don't know your situation, buddy. I don't know why you do what you do. It's none of my business because you're a people and you have a place in this metaverse. Now, outside of that, we came here to talk about racing, man. What do y'all think? Said, oh, up in this smoke, man. Said, I put a racetrack here, man. Look at this, man. I can run it right down here, man. Run that old racetrack right down here, man. Listen, man, zoom, zoom, man. We're going to make this track, man. Look at it, TKN, baby. You have put the work in, buddy. We're going to run it right down here. We're going to run a race straight speedway, man. A speedway right down here, man. Vroom, vroom. Maybe we're going to have a moonshine to steal over right here. We're going to be able to stop. Get you a drink of moonshine. Get back in your car. You're going to keep being going down here, man. Just a straight shot, man. Oh, man, look at that, man. Oh, up in the smoke, man. There you go, man. We're going to get you down here, man. We're going to have a party, man. A metaverse party, man. Old Lee Merck Park racetrack, man. Node Life racetrack, man. We're going to ask this old buddy about these racetrack nodes, man. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to go and get into that. We ain't even going to keep you here long today. I'm not going to give you no talk. I'm not going to preach to you today because I got somebody and I found him and I think he needs to tell you the things that he needs to tell you. So I'm going to be quiet and I'm going to get into this interview for you so you can get this information and then I can get on out of here, man. So let's go ahead and get into it, man. You know what? I found him, man. We're here. Man, we're here, we're here, we're here, we're about to talk racing, man, up 
playing racing, man. What is going on? But I did. I got you somebody. Brought a special guest today, man. I'm, I don't even have to introduce this guy, man. He came to talk to the people, man. Mr. URL himself. Dak, how you doing today, buddy? Hey, man. How's it going? Doing great. Oh, man, you know, just came in here, man, the people, man, everybody's talking about racing nodes, man, I, you know, I don't know nothing about racing, man, so I had to find you, I, 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 man, what is a racing node, buddy? That's a good question, um, I think we're, we're, we started talking about racing nodes when, uh, we found out that, um, Upland was going to be using overlays in Unity for the racing. So, you know, just yesterday they released Alpha Racing and people are getting to see what it kind of looks like and what the tracks look like. Well, they mentioned that eventually players will be able to create their own tracks and they'll be able to create uh, temporary tracks or they'll be able to create permanent tracks and so forth. And so one thing that wasn't clear and we still don't really know is how that overlay is going to be created. But once you started getting into this concept that players will be able to pick streets or pick neighborhoods or pick some kind of element in Upland and then use that to bring it into Unity as the track, well, now people started kind of getting together and saying, oh, I want to, I have this, you know, these streets look really cool and when, you know, and they form a cool pattern, so I want to make a track out of it. Or I have a node or a neighborhood project where, you know, we have a lot of, uh, engagement and we have a lot of opportunity and you know we want a track you know a racetrack to run through it uh -huh. and so the collection of properties and uh, around a track kind of is what has become a uh, race node uh, yeah man i mean all i know man hey smoke man i mean we need a race node man what's a race node man, hey, man how do we get in there man like, so how do people actually um joining and get sanctioned in the UR. What do they need to know, man? Like, you know, they come into you, they're like, Dak, man, I got a track, man. Is it any kind of rules, man? I know it's gotta be rules, man. What what tell these people, tell the people, what what what's the rules, man? If you're coming to the URL, man, if if you want a track, man, this is this is what what do they have to do, man? Oh, uh, there's always rules, right? <laughs> um so I will start with this. I want to make it very clear. URL is just one lead. You don't need to be in URL to have a track. You can create your own track at any time, right? And that's what I was saying is that, you know, people will be able to create tracks. They can create temporary tracks. They can create permanent tracks and so forth, right? So if you want to have a drag race with your friend and you just want to do good old-fashioned street race, you can do that eventually, not yet. Right. Yes. What we are doing and kind of the difference between racing in the Upland game versus URL racing is we're really kind of have focused on creating a community racing uh, server. And so we do have rules around the, you know, how you can form the track and some of the key uh, regulations that are around it. And, and the way we work is we have a ranking board. The ranking board kind of comes up with ideas based on what the community is doing and so forth. And they propose a, a set of uh, regulations or a change to regulations or something like that to the race commissioners. Now, the race commissioners are the ones that have kind of invested in putting together the tracks, have put together the different folks and so forth. And so then the race commissioners get to ratify the information that's been provided. So it really is a, a community driven kind of element. It's not like I get to decide what are, you know, what are good tracks or bad tracks or anything like that. You know, we actually put, to, we went through a process and there's a ratification process by the race commissioners, people who are, you know, have skin in the game and are, you know, excited about it. And so the community kind of gets to be involved in how the decisions are made and so forth. I'm and like, so the regulations, I'm liking, already, the regulations I'm, like, I'm liking that already, man. It's about the people. Yeah, it's, it's, about, it's about the people over there, man. Go ahead, man. I'm sorry. I, didn't, I just heard the people, man. No, when I heard the people, man, it's, it, the, people. it's the people, man. <laughs> Go ahead, man. I'm sorry for interrupting you, buddy. Go ahead. 
No, but you're right. That's, you know, smart. I mean, it's all about the people and it's all about the community. And even Upland kind of knows that, right? And so uh, the regulations that we built really kind of focused around creating a community event, right? So when you want to submit a track, we actually have a whole ticketing process for submitting a track. It goes through a review by the ranking board. Uh, the ranking board uses the regulations that have been uh, kind of approved by the race commissioners. Key elements to that are, you know, we want to see some level of skin in the game, right? So we want to see some ownership levels. You can, uh, we, we have two different uh, tiers. We have a provisional tier for 20% ownership, and we have a sanctioned tier for 40% ownership, right? So if you're able to demonstrate 40% ownership on track site properties, and track site meaning properties that have direct line of view to the track that you've outlined, All right. then you can be in the sanctioned uh, tier. If you only have 20% and you haven't been able to get to the 40% yet, well, you can still submit and get your track listed. It's just going to be provisional track. The difference between provisional and sanctioned is when we actually come up with our schedule and the schedule is, you know, we, we haven't done any schedules yet correct? because it we can't race yet. But once we have schedules, the sanctioned tracks will be the ones that are picked for the season for the official URL uh, races. Provisional tracks will be used for invitationals and one-offs and special events, node racing, and so forth. Oh, okay. See, people, that means that there's something for everybody in there. So don't don't get get your butts all in the water because this and that, man. Listen, man, he's making a way. Not just him, the whole group of people in the url are making a way for everybody to be a part of this racing things and that's that's what i'm hearing so don't everybody don't be like oh url no 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 just calm down because <laughs> dak himself says that you know this this is for everybody it's for the people man it's racing man it's for the people now let me ask you a question who are some of you what well, we call them is day ones man who what what is some of these if, if the people wanted to look at a couple of different spots that 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 so they can get an example of what they need to do what are some of the areas that 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 you would recommend say hey man these guys been with me from the beginning they kind of got the concept who who what would they be what tracks would you say are some of the beginning founders that was in there with you yeah and actually uh they're on the ranking board too so um we'll start with uh jr wheels he was one of the first ones and his approach was interesting he, he had a uh, street in Detroit that he used to race on. So he wanted to create a drag strip on that street. And so we started talking and we kind of went through the process of how to kind of do it. And so now it, from that one kind of quarter mile street that he started the drag strip with, he's expanded it into a, a really big neighborhood project that is pretty massive, hundreds of properties, uh, lots of opportunity for individuals. I just sort of posted something where he is uh, allowed, you know, he's selling some properties on the uh, French road tracks at like 15,000 upix, which for a track side property is one is crazy and expensive. Yeah, that's not right? a bad deal, And he's man. doing it, but, you know, but yeah, he wants to bring the community in and he wants to get people involved, but they have to commit to building on the track and, and kind of being part of it, right? So, you know, what he's done is really kind of cool because he started from like scratch and he's putting a ton of work in um, the amount of building and, and construction that got done on French Road is crazy. I mean, if you look at before and after pictures, it's like one of those really kind of weird, like it's it's desolate. And then if you look at it today, it's just like buildings everywhere. It's crazy. Yeah, man. Uh, so that's a really cool one to look at. And well, he was one of the OGs. I, well, we, you know, the no life, man, we, we're there, man. You know, um, I, I didn't yeah. even know it was a track. Um, I was met in Detroit, man. And I airport sub, man. I, I like this area, man. I'm gonna buy some properties. And then a little bit later down the road, uh, J.R. Wills, who I like that guy, man. He's one of the people, man. J.R. Wills, man. Shout out to you, buddy, man. I like you, man. And he says, hey, man, I got a track over there. And I was like, hey, man, let me get a property over there. And he says, hey, Smoke, man, you already got properties over there. <laughs> so I was like, we're already there, man. We're already there, man. 
who now, now he's he came in, he's a racer. I Jake, come on, man. J.R. Wills, man. I know he's a racer, man. Um did, now do you have yeah. anybody that was actually a node and then they um then they turned into a racetrack, man? Do you, who who was that? Who was somebody that was building a node and yeah. said, Hey man, I like racing, man. Give me one of those, man. Who 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 we got there? Yeah, you might know this guy. You might know this guy, Elijah Judah from the real node LA. Hey man, what's up, man? Yeah, man, I know Elijah, man. What's up, Elijah, man? Elijah, man, hey man, you know what? That we're over there too, man. Man, I think me and you not might know the same people, buddy. <laughs> but yeah, tell me a little bit about the real node LA, man. So he, you know, he and I had talked way early on. He had just first started his real node LA concept. And I thought it was really cool and everything, and we just stayed in touch and everything. And and I started talking about racing and you know how kind of cool it would be. And he just it, like he instantly saw the opportunity, and he's like, "I'm in, right?" And I'll bring the real note LA, and we'll build something. And he started he started with Ithaca run, and now he's expanded it into like the real note uh, tour track and. I mean, he, he, he has that whole area like locked up with a ton of different functionality. You know, it's it's not just the racing. You know, he's really kind of trying to build a whole entertainment area with that core section that he has for uh, video and content creators. Um, and so he had, you know, the node and, and, and it wasn't huge yet. It was building. And he saw the opportunity with the track. He went in, he outlined the track and he, the track he outlined when he posted it to URL, and we had like 30, 30 people in, 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 the, in the server at the time, right? Uh, a lot of the properties were unminted. So people were able to go in and mint these properties and get in at mint price nice. on a track uh, because he was expanding his node and he was expanding, you know, kind of like his reach. And he really was kind of trying to make it about people being able to get access to the node and be part of the real node LA and so forth. And now like all those properties have gone up in value quite a bit. Uh, the amount of different types of uh, individuals, some OG players are in there. Uh, some content creators are in there. Um, it, you know, it really is like a very diversified little community that he's created. And he really has embraced the node concept that Ben 68 talked about on the show. Right. Where it's not just about the one neighborhood project. It's about kind of building into a lot of different uh, segments and everything being kind of interconnected. Yeah. So he really has kind of built up a lot. And he's you know, another person who's put a lot of effort, a lot of energy and positivity out there into getting this done. Hey, man. Big shouts out, man. The real node L.A., man. I, I like Elijah, man. He's That's a good guy right there, man. He does, man. He has it really planned out over there, man. He's building something. For the people. And you know how I feel about the people, Dak, man. We love the people over here. So, um, last thing, man. Let me I'm ask you. Say, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is the people show, man. That's why I came and got you, man, because the people have been asking about racing. And, and I knew you had put a lot of work and effort into coming up with the whole URL, man. And, and it's not just you. I, I mean, tell me who your team is, man. Shout your team out, man, because – you need the people, and I know you got people. Yep. You know, and tell, oh, what, what's the URL, man? What, what? I know you talked about other people's stuff because you're a humble guy and you're a people. And but what do you have a track? Tell me about that. Shout your team out, man. Tell me about your people, man, and, right. and what you guys got going on, man. So yeah, I mean, I, I think there's a couple of things. One, the ranking board, they do a lot of work. They they have to review tracks. They have to come up. You know, uh, what's great is, you know, we have so many different people and it, it's not always everybody agreeing with the same thing. It's different perspectives, which is really important. So I think any group that's trying to build a community focused kind of environment because you need to have different viewpoints. But on the ranking board, we have a Vasquez, we have Mass Chef, we have Elijah, we have J.R. Wheels, we have Matsuda R, we have Malice Sky and we have Souk. Uh, and so, you know, these are some good names in Upland, in the Upland community. And Coop is in there, too. And Coop is everywhere. Right. So, you know, Coop is another league commissioner uh, on the ranking board. So they really are kind of like they're the ones that are keeping everything going. Mass Chef is like my my operations man that can get everything done. I come up with a crazy idea. He figures out how to do it. Right. Yeah. So, you know, he's really great. 
Uh, we've partnered up with uh, MD2 Group Motor Group. Uh, that is a uh, kind of a motor investment group that includes Melisky, myself, uh, Mass Chef, uh, Dairy, Abdullah, and Uplando. So, you know, other, uh, a whole group of big names and having Abdullah in, in the group is always good too. Um, and then in terms of um, what we're doing with URL, obviously, you know, you can't say that you're a racing league and then not actually, you know, drink the lemonade. <laughs> we, we went, we got the race commissioners involved and said, okay, let's, let's pick a place where we can do our track. And, uh, we we knew Vegas was going to open, so we started looking at Vegas. We had to go with our number two choice because our number one choice wasn't within the city limits. And so we went with that, and we have a track out in West Las Vegas, and that's our URL HQ track. And all of the all of the race commissioners are in there. We have a lot of different players that are in there, and uh, it's it's going to be kind of crazy. I have an inner core kind of borrowing from Elijah's theme. Uh, I created kind of an inner core and my idea is to create a Vegas experience in that inner core. They're good sized properties, uh, pretty large properties that I think we'll be able to do either with uh, outdoor decor or once Upland really kind of gets heavy into that layer two, I'm, you know, that is going to be like all layer two kind of, experiences arcades amusement park all that craziness yeah we can't wait for layer two man but we need to let them get layer one right first (laughs) (laughs) we don't want to push them too fast man we need layer let's get layer hey upland man let's get layer one right first man we we, we're ready for layer two but can we get layer one right they're doing a really good job man like since i've been in the game man they're smoother now you know especially city openings have gotten a lot better man so um, that man, yeah. I, I, I got us to get over there, man. I'm going to come over there to Las Vegas, man. I got to get in there, man. And no life needs to be there because we're everywhere else. So we got to get there. Um, is there anything well, else? Right now we have, Go ahead, yeah, right, right now we, uh, and, and, and again, this is the community, right? I didn't initiate this, the community K Curry 23, right? He's in there. He's all excited about alpha racing dropping and everything. And he starts talking about, oh, maybe we should try this and start that. It turns into we're now doing a time trials racing event this whole weekend. Started this morning. We're going to run it through Sunday. Uh, what is that? July 10th. And uh, we're going to run it through that. Time. And the winner of the time trials, both in R1 and R4, are going to get a property from K. Curry. He has multiple properties in uh, on the on the track. And he's giving away a property to each of the winners. And then Fadi saw what uh, K. Curry was doing. And he's like, you know what? I'm going to sweeten that pot and I'm going to throw a spark and help someone build up a structure on that too. And Fadi has some good, you know, good amount of spark. So whatever, you know, someone's going to build on there, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to get some help. And, and obviously other, I'm sure other URL members will contribute and help those properties get built up because it's kind of like the first racing in url that actually has a prize pool right i mean it's crazy that already the community's found a way to create excitement around just time trials yeah I, hey man the people are excited about racing man I'm, that's all i'm trying to that's all they're talking about man is racing man hey man i've been fishing for whales man listen man how did y'all snag that big whale abdullah man God, Lee, man, I've been trying. I, I, I got a well. I, they, they, I don't. I didn't even know what a well was. Didn't they told me somebody that owns a lot of properties and stuff in the metaverse, man? You have a well on your team, man. That's a, that's a big shout out to the URL, man. Y'all snagged a well, man. Hey, wells, man. I'm trying to get one of you on my show. <laughs> that can you give me any advice on snagging a well, man? <laughs> Most of them don't like to be out and about. They're, you know, they're, they're, they like to be in the deep water. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what they tell the, me. That's the issue. 
Oh man, I gotta go. I gotta fish deeper, man. I gotta listen, people. <laughs> if somebody could let me borrow a deep in fishing pole so we can catch us a well to come talk to us, let me know, so, man. <laughs> Dak, I'll man. Tell you, uh, I'll tell you, I, I bet you you can get TM. Uh, he's a, he does a ton of node projects and neighborhood developments, right? So you probably really should talk to TM, and he's a he, he's a fun guy to chat with. Um, yeah. Thank me later. You know, I think you should talk to him as well, and you probably could get him on the show. Uh, you already had Ben on the show, so I mean, you've been getting yourself. You know, you've gotten some. You've gotten some whales. Yeah, we could fish a little bit, man. I, man, I'm from Florida, yeah. man. I'm I'm a Florida guy, man. Of course, I can fish, man. Freshwater fish, man. I can saltwater fish, man. I, man, any kind of fishing, <laughs> man. I, we're from. Aren't you from Florida, man? I don't know if you're from Florida or not, man. Yeah. But, we fish down here, I, man. I didn't grow up in Florida. I didn't grow up in Florida, but I am living in Florida, and I have done some fishing. Yeah, man. So we know how to fish down here. And, uh, you know, TM, man, he's a busy guy, but we do got him on the line, man. We got him on the line. We're going to catch you, TM. You're coming soon, buddy. But tell us anything else that you want to say about the URL, man. We're going to get on out of here, man. I don't want to keep the people too long, man. Uh, I mean, we really appreciate you coming by and dropping knowledge man and that's what we're all about man and, and and i know you're one of the people and that's why you came here to drop this knowledge on the people man is there anything else you want to drop before we get out of here buddy no uh, uh, if people don't know alpha racing's out there url's already engaged and uh if whether you are a driver a race commissioner a team principal a fan a spectator a content creator wherever Come on by URL, check us out, and let's have some fun racing. Hey, man, we appreciate you. Hey, listen, man, the people, Upland Entertainment Corporation, man, we're going to be doing some things in there, man. The No Life's definitely going to be in mm-hmm. there dealing with the URL, man. We're going to sponsor some teams. Hey, people, I'm going to do a people team, man. Who, has the, who wants to be on the people's team, man? We're going to do a racing team, man. We're going to sponsor. I ain't going to do no racetrack because – until they bring in Daytona 500. Now, if they bring in Daytona 500, I'm going to do a racetrack, man. But if they don't, then I'm just going to sponsor somebody else's track. Back. We we appreciate you, man, and we thank you for your time, my brother. And you're a part of the Node Life, man. You're living the Node Life. You care about the community, man. Big shouts out to Dak, man. You got Node Life love, brother. Thank you. I appreciate it. I do love the note life. I want the merch, man. <laughs> Coming soon, brother. Coming soon. Thanks, man. Man, people, can you believe it, man? Boy, we know a little bit more about node racing nodes, man. Man, Dak, man, we appreciate you, buddy. You drop knowledge on the people. Now we know. What we need to do, people, stop hitting me up. Stop saying, smoke, man. I want to get this. I want to get that. Listen, man, I brought the people to talk to you. So now you know. This is the people's show, man. We're going to bring the people in that the people want to see, man. This is what we want to do, man. Hey, man, I'm going to show y'all something, man. Listen, man, there's another little area over here, man. Yeah, this is for us, man. Don Diablo, man. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, man. We're the people. Don Diablo, man. Look at this, man. It's a little project over here, man. Come on, man. Still some area over here, man. Come on, man. It's the people's area, man. My man, Essa Rose in the building, man. What's up, S.A.? What's going on, man? Let's do it, man. It's Don Diablo, man. Let's, let's do it, man. It's Don Diablo, man. We're going to start doing that, man. Because we're doing it for the people, man. And Dak, man, we appreciate you, man. We're going to drop that URL Discord down there in the description, man. Y'all go through there. Y'all show some support, man. Support it, man. Because that's what we do, man. We support the people, man. And before I go, do me a favor, people. Mine... Your business, people. That's it. Just mind your business. If nobody's cheating, nobody's doing anything to you, nobody's scamming you, nobody's doing anything of that, stop labeling people and putting 
the metaverse police on people. We're all people, man. Spark Farmer. We don't know if this guy was farming Spark. We don't know what he was doing, man. He was building, letting stuff go for cheap so other people could get in here and have a house to live in in the metaverse or some of us are buying it and then doing what? Making a profit off of it. See that? Making a profit off of it. But at no point in time did anybody call you people spark farmers. No, you made a profit off of it. Leave people alone. If nobody's scamming you, nobody's cheating you, leave people alone. Because in reality, we're all here with the same purpose. To build a place for everybody. Everybody. Nobody should be left out in the metaverse. And since I said that, I think it might be done here. So I'm going to bring that guy back on, man. Oh my God, this guy's coming by gone. It's been an episode of the No Life. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is your man, Evan S. Smoke. Hey, man. Give me a like, man. Give me a share, man. Subscribe to this content. It's the No Life. And I'm out.